Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Drive Home Snow. What? We got snow today, guys. It's our first. It's our first uh, drive home show in April, and it's the drive home snow. Drive home in the snow. All right. I got my back windshield is uh, covered in snow. I can't see behind me. I can't see behind me and I'm backing up. <clears throat> All right, we're going. We're on the way. We're out in the on the road, back in the on the air. We had the drive home show. We got so much, so much things to talk about, guys. So much. I'm probably not going to remember everything. And if I do remember everything, I'm probably not going to get it all in in the drive home show. Well, that could be a false statement because it could be a long drive home show because it's snowing. Um, we got little snowball pellets resting on the hood and then they're moving as I drive. They're not flakes, they're little teeny tiny bitty, you know like, you know what it reminds me of? Those, the sprink with Mr. Sprinkles. When you're making uh, Christmas cookies, the little teeny colored sprinkles. Not the long ones that look like little uh, gingerbread men poop, but just the tiny little dots. That's what the snowflakes look like, that's how small they are. It's 29 degrees, it's 408. We got started at 408. It's kind of impressive. Now let's see what kind of roads, see what the roads are gonna look like as we venture out into the highways and byways of the snow-covered mountaintop. Um, we did get snow Friday night. Our last drive home show was a Thursday. We did not have a drive home show Friday, and we're gonna get to that in our drive home show today, why we did not have a drive home show on Friday. I know all our listeners out there are anxious to hear what is going on. Now all of you one listeners, all of you one listener, are anxious to find out what is going on. <clears throat> well, let's start out with this weekend it snowed, oh, about three inches. Between two and three inches, it was a wet, sloppy, gucky snow. When you uh, go out, step on it, it kind of just crunches and sticks to your feet, your shoes. And you can just... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You just kind of feel it crunch underneath you and kind of squash. Uh, even though it didn't even get above freezing that day, it was still melting because the sun came out. The sun is an April sun or a late March sun, and it's more intense than your basic December sun or your January sun or whatever. So it was starting to melt the snow away, even though it did not get above freezing. Um, a lot of things happened this weekend. Roads don't look too bad. Well, it is slow, but it's not like way backed up in a parking lot. We're gonna see if we can merge on here. This is a, a crucial um, maneuver that takes more concentration than just regular type driving. So bear with me as I merge onto the freeway of 494, northward bound, Scotty, Mr. Northward bound head. Mr. Northward and Bound Head. We made it the first lane. Now I'm trying to get into the second lane, but there's a white Honda CRV that doesn't feel like he has to let me in. Now I'm getting into the third lane, the leftmost lane. And we made it. Uh, did I get a text? I got a buzz on my watch. Paulita could. I don't know. I have to check what that is. Um, Okay, we're merged on the freeway. We're crossing 94 right now, and we're heading into 694. That is a lot of nines and fours. Five minutes into the show already. We haven't even said anything. We just talked about snow. It's 411. It's 411, and we've got... The roads are pretty clear. Um, you got to be careful, because it could be slippery. It could be slippery spots. we got brake lights ahead. Brake light alert. Brake light alert. Brake light alert. Still can't see out the back window. I got the instant automatic rear view defroster, rear window defrosters on. Hopefully that's gonna melt that snow in the back there and allow me to see what's behind me. I can use the side mirrors to find out what's behind me. We got we got more of a brake light alerts coming up here. We're at the 20, we're at the 25, we're at the 20, we're at the 19, we're at the 20, we're at the 21, we're at the 25. 
We're at the 30. We should go. The ball is a tackle. The valley depends on the play. Thanks, John. Um, so Friday, I get a phone call, for, or I get a text message during the day from my dad. Um, he's, I, I'm not going to be able to repeat what he said on the text message. I mean, I just can't remember it exactly. But basically, the gist of what had happened was he said uh, he had to tell me something. So it sounded a little bit serious. It sounded a little bit, oh, what's this about? Not, not your typical, hey, how's it going? What's going on with you? How's everything? How's the family? But it was more, oh, more serious. So in lieu of doing the drive home show Friday, 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 Friday in lieu of the drive home show Friday, I decided to call him instead. And so when I called him, he was asking, are you going to do all the whistles and the buzzers and the, because I told him I was driving home. Get it? I don't, do the, I don't do the sound effects. I have the sound effects thing right here, but I don't do them. Just because... The, the sound effects are, are repetitive. They're old. I'm, whatever. It doesn't matter why I don't do the sound effects anymore. I have them available if I'm going to do a video drive home show. But I just don't do them. It just kind of interrupts the flow. It just kind of interrupts the flow. We're in Oakdale now. I can see the famous Oakdale Water Tower. I think that's a tree. It looks like a tree on the side. I don't know. I'm not sure. It looks like it could be a tree. And the Oakdale in the all caps uh, font. It's not Comic Sans font. The Comic Sans fault is, fault, font is now a laughing stock. It's what people make fun of. Anyway, so my dad told me that he just found out that he has twin daughters from 48 and a half years ago. So I have twins, I have twin sisters that are not my twins, but they're twins with each other. So I have two extra sisters. I have two extra sisters that I didn't know I had. So I got the radio on. The radio on, I can hear like little, little without being able to make out what the sound, what the, what the song is or anything like that. Okay, partially, a part of my back window is clearing up. I still can't see like immediately behind me, but I can use my side mirrors. That's good enough. Side mirrors are good. Side mirrors are good. We're cruising along at an altitude of 62 miles per hour. We've got a little bit of road spray and not much precipitation debris. By that I mean spotting of the windshield by raindrops or snowflakes or I don't, hail. I guess hail would be considered precipitation. Uh, any type of like moisture from the weather like falling out of the sky. That, that's what you would call precipitation. And then it would land on your windshield and block, you know, obstruct your vision. But I don't have any of that. It's just mainly road spray up kicking up from the tires of the cars in ahead of me. And I'm keeping back a distance so that it doesn't really happen too much. Also, you just want to be safe and, and if they're going to slow down, I'm going to be ready to slow down too. It's 417 on the drive home show. Did I mention it's 29 degrees? They're not above freezing. Of course we're not because it's snowing. Well, it's not really snowing. It's kind of snowing. Maybe sleeting. I don't know. We're coming up to our Pine Springs Road. Pine Springs sign welcome to pine springs population 408 got to slow down a little bit as the car ahead of me is, is is decelerating without putting on their brakes and here we are at the pine springs welcome sign 408 people all waving and saying hello welcome to our town hope you enjoy your stay this is the pine springs mount Eye curve which we are on right now the roads look a little slick but dry in the tire worn paths and I've got a black Mazda M5 or M Mazda 6 passing me on the right and I will soon be passing them because a big orange tra truck trailer truck truck trailer is coming in here their lane and we're passing the Mill Street Farm we just passed into Matamidai uh, I don't know why I'm doing the play by play by play broadcast of my driving it's not something I usually do. Um, so let's get back on to our weekend. 
So I found out I have two sisters I do not know. I did not know about it. Mr. Kyle, I did not know. Um, but imagine the shock of my father who did not know he had daughters. And so yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll get more into that along some future episodes of the drive home show. Uh, Friday night we went to a play, a play called Familiar. It is written by one of the stars, one of the actresses in the movie Black Panther. She plays, I, I, I really couldn't even say her name if I remembered what her name was, but she played the warrior, you know, the one with the bald head, and she's like really good with fighting and junk. She's real good at fighting and stuff. She's married to the one guy. She's also in Walking Dead. Um, She's been in some other things. So she wrote this play. I gotta I gotta clear my windshield. Because I got too close to the car ahead of me and I got road spray. I, I inched close up to the car ahead of me because there was a truck passing in the right lane and I did not want them to cut in front of me. So I clearly could not choose the one in front of you. But you knowing that I'm a Sicilian would have figured that out so I clearly can't choose the, the cup in front of me. I switched classes while your back was turned. So the play was about a Zim Zimbabwean. That sounds like a a nerd not knowing how to say it. Zimbabwean. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwean. Family in Minnesota. And the daughter, one of the two daughters was getting married. And she's marrying a white guy from Minnetonka. And family was coming for the wedding and basically I'm not without without just telling the whole story like word for word or note for note line for line comma for comma my shins are itching I, yay, 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 yay. Um, it was about the culture the family dynamic honoring their ancient culture but also combining that with the current American culture that they spent a lot of time adapting to and such and whatnot and all that kind of thing. But then there were a lot of some, some twists and turns in the middle of the thing. So it was an inter it was an interesting play. Um, I I was kind of I'm uh, not thinking of the correct adjective, but I was not impressed, I was not surprised, I was something that they were not miked. They were just very talking very loud. Uh, I think that hindered the play a little bit because they were speaking with Zimbabwean accents, or Zim, you could just say Zim for short. They were speaking with Zim accents and some of the words were kind of hard to make out and because they were not mic'd, it was that made it more difficult. And then plus, whenever the, the crowd laughed, and they laughed a lot, um, you couldn't hear what they were saying. So, but it was good, it was, it was, in, it was informative, it was um, interesting, it was um, 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 educational. And it made you think, thought provoking. Okay, so that's the play. All right, so Saturday, we went to the gym in the morning. Not Jim, like, Jim Smith or Jim Rogers, or, but the GYM, gymnasium, the workout place, lifetime fitness. Um, we did our lower body workout, the 10 minutes on the treadmill. I think I was running 6.7 miles per hour. 10 minutes on the stepper at level seven, and then the leg machines. Uh, it was the same workout I did a week ago, a week prior, but the week prior I was really getting out of breath quickly, and I was like, dang, I'm like tired. Well, this time it was better. I still got tired, I still would have to hold myself up like on the stair, stair, master, stair, 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 master, master, 
Echo, echo, echo. Hey, hey, hey. What, what, what happened? 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 To the, to the, the sound, sound, sound. I'm, I'm, I'm echoing, echoing. Anyway, wait, wait. Got a uh, spray, uh, wipe, wipe, wipe the windshield, chill, chill. Got, got some road, road spray, spray, spray here, here. It's four, four twenty-five, five, five on the drive, drive home, clock, clock, clock. 30, 30, you up to, up to 30, 30 degree. I know you're getting annoyed by that. <laughs> um, we're coming up to the, our famous sign. We're actually not moving too, too bad. We're moving pretty well. Almost regular speed, really. It's just a little bit more traffic on the road, but we're all moving at a good pace, 60 plus miles per hour. Um, so Saturday after the gym, okay, I gotta tell you a funny thing. It's neither here nor there, but it's funny. Afterwards, uh, I re after I was in the gym already, realized that I'd forgot my bathing suit for the for the hot tub, the Whirlpool. Um, they've recently put a sign up. Okay, we're coming up to the sign. Speaking of signs, we're coming up to the sign. What tells you distance, time to 35W, and we're looking at five minutes. So we're gonna have to slow down. I wouldn't expect it to be three on a day like today. I would expect there to be more of a slowdown than there usually is. So it's 426 right now, and we're going to cross 35W, hopefully at 431 on our clock. And I'll let you know. It just turned to 437, so we're going to give you 432. We're going to give you that. We're going to give that to you and say it to be a success if you make it by 432. We're still going pretty good. We're still moving along in the 65 to 70 range, almost 70. I've got snow flying off my car. I can hear it shuffling off. My back window is now clear. Well, it's mostly clear. I, there's like that warp, that warp line stuff, like, you know, after snow just kind of drags itself off. Okay, there's a slowdown. Here we go. We're slowing down. He's at the 60. He's at the 55. He's at the 50. He's at the 45. He's at the 40. He's at the 35, he's at the 30, he's at the 25, he's at the 20, he's at the 16. We tackle the contact lenses. Let's get the jersey driver. Thanks, John. Okay, we slowed way down. Um So finishing the story about the gym. Um, they recently put a sign up at the gym and it's like, no, only proper swimming attire in the hot tub. And they, you know, there's a sign up on the wall already, but now they, they made an extra sign and they put it up on a big easel and put it right there. So they're, you know, that's, that's going to tell you they're really adamant about keeping that rule. Uh, they don't, don't appear to be as adamant about the bathing before you go or showering before you go in the hot tub rule. But they're they're pretty adamant about this rule. Oh, they got little pictures of of swimsuits, and then they got these are okay. A picture of a swimsuit, a picture of a swimsuit. But they don't have like little little speedos. And then they go, these are not okay. And then they got like a picture of gym shorts, and then a picture of a towel. <laughs> so I had seen that sign la the last time I went, which was Thursday. So I knew the sign was there, and I re I remembered like oh. Shoot, I forgot my swimming suit. I, Saturdays, I like to go on the hot tub because we're not restricted of time and such. Um, so, I, I had a decision to make. I had a decision to make. What am I going to do? Am I going to just not go in, this, in the hot tub because I don't have the proper swimming attire? Or am I going to disobey the rules and go in with my gym shorts? And I said I was just going to go in with my gym shorts because... Is there a police? Is there a police? Is there a bathing suit police standing outside the pool no no there's not so i was just gonna go in with my gym shorts and if anybody said anything i was like well i didn't know i didn't see that giant sign right there so i go by i go in i, I at least obeyed the rule about the shower i went into the shower first and then i like once my gym shorts got wet in the shower they kind of looked like a swimming suit i'll be honest with you they looked a little bit like a swimming suit so i was about to you know i was making my way over to the hot tub there and there's four large guys in here and they're, they're position, positioned just so, justly, thusly, where there's not really a good spot for me to go. I would have to like whip, finagle and wiggle in between them and kind of sit between right in the midst of everybody. And I just thought that's just, that's just too much attention on me with my fake unapproved 
swimming suit. And so I bypassed that. Um, not sure what I did, because I had to walk by. I think, I don't know, I think I just turned around and walked back into the showers and then took a real shower, washing the, washing the hair and everything. Okay, we're coming up to uh, 35W and it's 431, so we're probably gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we might even make 431. It's really not that bad. Oh, it's 432, sorry. But we did say 432 was acceptable, right? We did say that, right? So we're gonna make it 432 for sure. We're not a minute away, we're like seconds away. We're like 10 seconds away. We're over it right now and it's 432, folks. We're at 432, it's like 10 seconds. I mean, we did it. We made it, yay, clap, 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 clap. Insert applause right here. Um, it's 30 degrees still. So yeah, we did not go, we collectively did not go into the hot tub. So I had to wait like an extra longer time for Paul to get done because she was in the hot tub. We, we allotted 15 minutes of time to sit in the hot tub. So uh, I tried to go slow getting ready the rest of the time, but still had to wait probably an extra 15 minutes more than I thought I was gonna have to wait. But it's all good. And then we went to Chipotle to get our healthy, more healthy lunch than um, processed food or what. Um, then that evening we went to um, the Gospel Classics 2018. It was, uh, I don't even know what organization does it. It's supposed to be an annual event, but I know uh, Lawrence Miles and Cortland, I think his name is Pickens, Cortland Pickens. We're the singer, the two main singers. Cortland is the guy who sang for us on our launch team, our launch service, preview launch service at Epiphany Covenant Church. Um, Eric, my brother-in-law Eric, played the bass, and I do not know the drummers. I do not know there are two keyboardists. I do not know them, but they played really good. He played real good, Bobby Boucher. He played Waterboy real good. And it was fun, but the best part, here's the here's the thing, here's the, the best part about the whole thing, was that it was at Famous Dave's. I was gonna miss the Twins game for this event because the Twins game started at the same time. But here's the thing about it, they had the Twins game on at Famous Dave's on TV on the wall, so I could watch the Twins, and I could listen to the music, and I could eat some barbecue spare ribs. So that's what was great about it. Um, Twins won. I think the score was six to two. Our friend um, Kyle Gibson pitched a no hitter for through six innings. He threw 102 pitches. Um, they took him out after six innings and 102 pitches because it's an early in the season and all that and the pitch count and some walks, five walks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, personally, I. I leave him in until he gives up a hit. I let him go to the sixth inning at least. Come on now, depending, you know, if he's gonna start walking people and junk. Um, yeah, then then I'll take then I'll take him out. But as long as he's got a no hitter, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you pitch the sixth. I'm gonna let you pitch the seventh inning and see if you can get a one two three inning. I'm just gonna let you do that. But no, Paul Mauler didn't do it, and so uh, Presley. I don't remember his first name. Ryan, Ryan Presley pitched the seventh and the eighth innings but without allowing a hit. Uh, or did he, he, he did give up a hit, I don't know. But then they brought in Moya in the ninth and um, he gave up two runs. But the Swins won six to two. And then they won Sunday on Easter Sunday. The next guy, Jose Barrios, he pitched a three hit complete game shutout. We won seven to nothing. Um, Saturday's game, it was we got a home run from Miguel Sano. We got a home run from Escobar's, and we got a home run from Kepler's. Sunday's game, we had two home runs from uh, Dozier. We had a home, another home run from Sano's, and we had uh, was it Escobar's? We have four homers, two Dozier, one Sano, and Escobars. Oh yes, Escobars did not hit one Saturday, but uh, Castro's, Castro's hit one Saturday. So uh, those are all the home runs. 
by the Twins this year, except for today. They played the Pittsburgh Pirates today. It's over already. Um, Dozier hit a home run. We lost five to four, but uh, the new pitcher Lance Lynn guy, he, uh, okay, I'm reading this stickers on the car in front of me and I'm like, what? I'm not gonna say because it's a negative word. I don't know if it's a swear word. I used to think it was a swear word. I think they changed the rules on it. Uh, but uh, anyway, back to the story. I don't want to get just sidetracked like I already have. It's 4.38. We're about to turn on into the grocery store. So the show is almost over, guys. I still got more to talk about, but I'm going to try to fit in the uh, Twins game today, and then we'll be done. Um, the new pitcher, Lance Lynn, who's probably better than, well, I don't know if he's better than Barrios, but he's probably better than Odorizzi statistics-wise, and he's better than uh, Kyle Gibson statistics-wise. So you're thinking he's going to even do even better, because the first three pitchers have not allowed a run at all this season. And uh, so what happens? Two batters, he gives up a run. A walk and then a double. Uh, the runner on first scores on a double. He, um, then he walks two more guys or something, and uh, yeah, and he gives up a grand slam. So it's instantly five. What, are, what is going on with you people? What is going on? You can't. What are you doing? You can't come through this parking lot with a big giant trailer. You're not gonna fit. Anyway, I'm parking next to the old shopping cart corral. <laughs> So, okay, we, it looks like we got some rain or snow that melted and turned into water and then froze on these metal pipes of the shopping cart corral. So I think we're going to have like freezing type rain stuff. Yeah, that's not going to be good. All right, so let me finish up the story. So we're, head, we're, we're behind 5 nothing instantly in the first inning. Um, we don't get any more, we don't do much against this pitcher for the Pirates. We don't do much against him at all. We do not do much. Hey, hey! <laughs> this uh, sound wave graph is, is looking crazy. It's like not keeping accurate time. It's bothering me. So yeah, whoa, that moved the sound wave. Okay, we don't do anything against this pitcher guy until the third time through the order, then Brian Dozier Hits a home run. That was his third home run of the year. Now it's five to one. Joe Maurer lines a single to left field. So then they take the pitcher out. And then they bring in, you know, Sano hits a double. I don't know who they brought in. They brought her in a relief pitcher. Sano doubles. Um, Rosario messes up. He does absolutely nothing. I think he popped up. Um, and then. Who's up after Rosario? We didn't get Lan we didn't get Logan Morrison because we we have no DH. We have, we have to, pitchers have to bat. Um, who's ever up after Rosario? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Was it Escobar? Well, Escobar doubled off the wall. Kepler doubled off the wall and became five to four. We had like runners at second, and uh, but we never we never tied it. And we ended up losing five to four. Had opportunities, had opportunities, but we blew it. So we're two wins and two losses on the year. But it was good showing, just you know, because we went down five to nothing and we almost, almost came back and tied it. All right, that's gonna do it for the drive home show, folks. Thanks for listening. Drive home snow. Um, going into the grocery store, gonna get some chicken. This is what I have. So you get out, talk. So keep your feet in the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Thanks for listening.